Max Keller. I used to spend my mornings tightrope walking. Now I'm a marathon runner. You know, I sometimes wonder if being a ninja is going to agree with my health. I can't believe you. I started ten minutes before you, and you're not even winded. I'm winded. You hide it well. I'm having a heart attack. Lower the heart rate. Drop the respiration, slow everything down. The miles become steps. Thought I was in shape till I met you. It'll come. A heart attack? Any second. When you have to run the four-minute mile, you'll do it. In less. I don't think running's my long suit. I'll stick to wheels. At least you don't ride bikes. Do you? It's been a long time. Good. Get ready to watch the ace, old fella. Welcome to the annual Clearwater Motocross Championship Race. It's a beautiful sunny afternoon here in Clearwater. We're going to have a great day for racing. So I come around the last turn like I'm flying. Bam! Right across the finish line. Not another bike in sight. Look, I admire your confidence. But if for some reason or another you should lose. Easy money. Hang on to Henry for me, will you? He loves the straightaways, but he hates the turns. <laughs> We've got entrants from all over the country. Max Keller will be here, winner of last year's race. Our own Chad Webster, Bill Howard, and Perry Brown representing the Canary. She's a lady to watch. Keep all those teeth? Check out, Jack. Max. Stay out of this. I can handle it. Of course, rearranging that mug of yours might be a challenge. Oh, oh. <laughs> 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 Max Keller. Hog, <laughs> how you doing? Don't you retire? I couldn't do that, brother. Besides, busting up towns ain't cool anymore. I should have known I'd find you here. You any better with that bike of yours now? I always beat you, didn't I? Hey, Hogs, this is the man, uh, McAllister, John Peter McAllister. This is Hogs, best biker around. You look kind of puny to me, pal. You better just watch. That's good advice. Ah. <laughs> I'm sure you have the power hidden there somewhere. Good luck. Yeah, thanks. See you later, Hogs. Hog, nice company you keep. Ah, uh, he's a pussycat. What'd you do to him anyway? Oh, just being friendly. Hope you can still hold the handlebar. Oh, see you for the champagne at the finish line. folks. Always great to see you. Bring the youngsters, pack a picnic. It's going to be a lot of fun out here today. You're going to see some great bike racing. Hi. Hey, Jerry. What do you want? Isn't that the uh, kid who won last year? I don't remember. I don't like him. Well, tell him. I'm not interested. You are so tough. You know, one of these days, that mouth of yours is going to get you in a lot of trouble. And I... And you what? Take a walk, Webster. Listen, lady. No, you listen. This racetrack is one place in this town you don't know. Yeah, you can push me around the cannery, but out here, you got to beat me fair and square. Unless, of course, you're too gutless to try without your daddy's money to back you up. Look, I found a 
They're at the starting line now. Just a few more seconds before the gun goes off. All jockeying for position. There's the gun, and they're off. Chad Webster takes an almost immediate lead, but Max Keller is right behind him. Then I can see Big Jim Stevenson. Now Tom, to his friends and enemies, number 11. And there's Kerry Brown coming up fast on the inside. Uh-oh, uh-oh, there's a pile-up. Doesn't look as if anybody's hurt. This race is getting pretty rough. Come on, come on, come on! Nine of the ten racers have pulled away now, leaving the pack behind in a cloud of dust. It's going to be a close finish. Max Keller, Chad Webster, and Kerry Brown are still the leaders. Even Ali lost a few. <laughs> hey! Nice race. Never lost it before. Well, now you have. Shame about your bike. Guys play rough around here. Yeah, I know. You're pretty good. You almost beat me. That was the idea. So, uh, how about a little victory party? At least dinner. Well, um, I have to work the early shift tomorrow. And I don't even know you. You don't have to buy me dinner. I was thinking you might buy. Oh. <laughs> I mean, you won all my prize money. I'll think it over. I'm not used to seeing him walk away from you. Well, you lose one, you lose another. Good looking girl, though, isn't she? But does your ninja discipline make you immune to such things? There are certain yearnings one does not want to overcome. Come on, boss. Oh, 
Go grab a leaflet, please. How come Tuesday to our union meeting? Grab a leaflet, please. Union meeting tomorrow. Don't forget. Still at it, huh, Gary? I don't quit, Harold. Yes. Another meeting? You bet. Tomorrow afternoon. And we're counting on you, Annie. We just need a few more signatures. Sure, sure. When are you going to let me take your dancing, Jerry? Well, I tell you what, Rick. If you sign this petition, we'll talk about it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Well, this is it. The Clearwater Cannery. Nerve center of the city, such as it is. Bring it over here! You know, if I hadn't lost that race, we wouldn't be broke. Max. So I could figure I could pick up a couple of days' work here and put us back on schedule. Max! Bring it down! Forget it. When they issue this equipment they're using, they're in a the depression? Some places never recovered from a depression. It's not in their interests. Do you work here? Everybody works here. How about dinner tonight? Okay. Um, why don't you meet me at the seaside shanty about eight? Or do you think you can find it? I'll see you later. Well, did you hear? Did they tell you what happened out there? You nearly got Joe Henderson killed. That rotting equipment. Now, Carrie. Yeah, now's right. Now we're gonna do something. Joe shouldn't be out there hauling boxes. He's too old. There are plenty of other jobs he can do. Not that one. Just what has to happen around here before someone takes an interest. When we get a union... I've told you, you'd better drop that union talk. It's just gonna get you more trouble than you want. Like it did my brother. Don't start again with your theory about your brother being done in by the cannery. Throw up, Carrie. Your brother just up and split. No more, no less. <laughs> What'd you expect? The time you get working on the line here? Oh, I remember when you were working on the line, so don't play that with me. You're not that smart, but I am. And that worries you, doesn't it? I know something's going on around here. And when I find out what it is, I bet it's gonna lead me right back here to you. Thing I've ever heard. Ralph, I told you before I want that girl fired. You think I don't want her out of my hair? You listen to me, Chad Webster. You got a couple of things to learn about running this cannery. And since your dad ain't around to tell you, I will. We fire Carrie Brown. And you won't get anybody in this town to work here. Nobody. They love that girl. I'm telling you the next time she causes trouble. The very next time. Gutsy girl, don't you think? Good looking, too. You sure took care of that accident down by the water there, didn't you? That was hot. Just flip that little gadget and bam, the whole thing goes into the drink. Sure hope that old guy's all right, though. Ah. Ah, that's better. 
Like I was saying, an old guy like that shouldn't have to work that hard labor. Well, we can't all be ninjas with the strength of centuries, right? So, say, what time is it? You gotta be moving out of here soon. What's the matter? The bed too comfortable for you? You all right? Dear God, don't do this. Whatever happened to... It's time to get up. What happened to you? I thought you had a heart attack. I was still. You stopped breathing. You have to breathe. The heartbeat, like everything else, can be controlled. I just slowed it down. Slowed it down? You stopped it. Only in appearance. The same technique that allows a Zulu warrior to chase a running gazelle for 50 miles and still have the strength for the kill. Swell. I believe you can do it, okay? Just don't do it again. You scared the hell out of me. Oh, that was nice. Well, I see you're ready to go. I think I am. Stopping his heartbeat. So I found myself in another bar. But I've learned my lesson. Don't worry, I'm not leaving this bar through a window. Hi, Sandy. Hi. Hey, Sandy, I don't want you serving Terry. Why not? Because I said so. I don't want you serving. Chad, what's the or problem? Lose your job, do what I told you. Okay. I'll be at the bar. Thought you didn't drink. I don't break up dates either. Unless she gets to be too much for me. It's brave talk for a man whose heart almost stopped. <clears throat> I'm here. Are you? Yeah, I'm here. Oh, Max, a long day. I hear you. You guys passing through? You talking to me? What does it look like? You and the hotshot kid over there, now that he's lost the race, I guess you'd be leaving town. What's it to you? Well, this is a tight community. We take care of our town. I don't think the lady wants you to take care of her. You got a hearing problem? My hearing is excellent. Move it or lose it. You just be sure lover boy is on his way out of town tonight. I'll deliver the message. You do that. You got a light? Hmm. Must have had it turned up too high. What is that? A cigarette lighter or a flamethrower? Good to be seeing you. Uh, let's walk. Is it still on you? You bet. See some menus, please. Sure. Excuse me. I didn't give the lady a menu. I can't serve her. Sandy! What do you mean you can't serve her? Please, Carrie, don't start any trouble. Well, how about if I do? I just decided dinner's on me tonight. And I'm really hungry. I come from a long line of big eaters. Uh, you like seafood? You bet. Halibut? Yeah. Me too. Two halibuts. No, I'm really hungry. Two baked potatoes. Sour cream and chives? Only on one. Too much cholesterol. And I'll have some beers. I'm pretty thirsty. And um, to finish it off, I'll have a couple of apple pies with ice cream on the top. And a pot of coffee. That should just about do me fine. I can't serve you. Oh, now you can't serve me either. Look, Carrie, it's not me. I... You got a problem, fella? Just trying to order dinner for the lady here. Well, maybe you better order someplace else. I won't be needing all of this. Gotta break myself of this habit. Okay, 
you'll get her. Well, my brother worked at the cannery for four years, and he caused Chad Webster a lot of trouble. And then he just disappeared. Now, see, that's not in character at all. Not for someone who, who cared enough to raise me alone all those years. My parents were killed in an accident. My brother was just that close to putting a union in that cannery when he disappeared. I know that this must sound real crazy to y'all, but you don't know what a hole that Chad Webster has on this town. You're saying Webster killed your brother? Yeah, and others. Take a left right here. Did you go to the police? Yeah, but just, there's just no proof. Just a lot of things that don't add up to anything else. I filed a missing persons report, and of course nothing came of that. How many others? Four. They'd all been working at the cannery for years, all friends of my brother's, all troublemakers. Then one day, gone. Greener pastures. I know that they didn't just leave, but I just can't prove it. Not yet, anyway. But I'm gonna prove it. This is the house is on the left. So there's nothing we can do to help? No, there's nothing you can do. But thank you. Good night. Night. That's some lady, huh? Yeah. Too bad we can't help her. Listen, pal. If you think I'm walking away from her, Webster, the cannery, or this town, you're... Guess you figured that out already, huh? We've been told to get out of town. By who? Try a guess. Webster? Good guess. But we're not leaving. Nobody's running me out of town. We're not leaving. I'll figure something out. That's what I was afraid of. Well, good morning. How are you? Denise Carroll. It's like a hot one, doesn't it? Ben, how's that baby? Annie, what's going on here? Nobody's talking to me. Uh. Boss says you're trouble, Carrie. No one wants to be caught speaking to you. I'm... I'm really sorry. But you're going to the meeting this afternoon. There's not going to be a meeting. Not with us. tell you what happened last night, do I? Carrie Brown is more trouble than her brother, and I can't afford to waste any more time on her. She also has some new friends that are too curious about this town. I know she's a problem, but I think... Don't start thinking now, Carter. I'm telling you, there's something weird about this old man she's been talking to. He makes me nervous, and the kid is a troublemaker. But if Carrie Brown isn't around, and there's no trail for him to follow, and they just drift on to the next town, then... Ted, you can't start something like we're not starting anything, Carter. We're just finishing what has to be done. There's nothing for you to think about. Let's make sure you're available tonight. Harry! Harry! Max, you're just spinning with wheels. My wheels, let me spin them. There's got to be some way to help you. Max, these people won't even talk to me. They say I'm trouble. There was supposed to be a meeting this afternoon, but I'll be sitting alone. Oh, yeah? What kind of meeting? A union meeting. There isn't going to be any meeting or any union. Get out of my cannery. Your cannery? I do. I do. You want to take a vote on that, Webster? We've got a lot of people working here. 
I say they outvote you a hundred to one. It's something worth fighting for. Go ahead. Take it down again. Can't stop people from meeting and talking. I told you to get out. Throw me out. Loud talk doesn't scare anyone. They'll be at the meeting. You should attend. It's your future, too. Now, I know that none of what I've said this afternoon is new to any of you. Goodness, most of y'all have been working here much longer than I have. Your mothers and your fathers worked here. M my brother did. But now we have to make a change to make a life for us, for your kids. Now, I've got a petition here for the union. And I need 40 more signatures. So let's see a show of hands. And what's Chad Webster going to say about all this? Hey, huh, Gary? Well, Charlie, um, <clears throat> I, I can't afford to give up one day's pay, let alone a paycheck. None of us can. You know where my family's at, Carrie. Clearwater's the end of the line for us. Until Bill gets his health back. I tried applying for a job at your cannery today. Couldn't get in. No vacancies. I'm not surprised, though. Working conditions there are so great. Nice suit. How much? $300? Must be making a lot of overtime. Looking forward to your children going to college? Because it's not going to be easy on the salary you're making. But when the cost of living increases come in every year, that'll make things a whole lot easier. I don't know why Carrie's bothering to rock the boat for you people. You're doing just fine. And you get paid what they want to give you. You work the hours they tell you. You clock in and punch out right on time. Their time. Carrie's waiting for a show of hands. And she isn't going to get one. Your big brother isn't watching you. He's got you right in his hip pocket. If you ask me, you're all getting exactly what you deserve. Been to church. Your young friend missed his vocation. Should have been an evangelist. He does have a way with words. Too bad he's gonna do him any good. Or you. You're leaving Clearwater. Right now. You're not gonna get out of this one, pal.
motorcycle school. Where's Carrie? At a union meeting. We better get to her tonight. We were worried about Carrie's safety. We were right. Carrie? Carrie, it's Max. Are you all right? What's happened? <laughs> oh, my God. I felt like this when I came home. It'll be okay. We won't let them get you. It's all right. Stop. Max, I'm really scared now. I know they killed my brother. And now they're after me. Nobody's gonna <laughs> harm you. Leave it to us. It's a big, brave girl. <laughs> everything up and I can't handle it. They've warned you, okay? Now it's up to us. We're gonna nail Webster for good. You just sit tight. They won't be back. But we will. Go to the police. And tell them what? The Webster tried to run us off the road to kill us. Now, where's the proof? Webster and all those cannery workers will have an alibi for this afternoon. We've got to find something on him. If what Carrie says is true, if they did kill her brother, most people don't cover their tracks as well as they think they do. Maybe there's something to cannery. When? Tonight. There's an open window on the second floor. Oh, swell. Disappeared. An old point, whatever that is. So Carter's involved too. And decided to protect himself. You know, all that Webster doesn't even know about these files? Let's get him over to the sheriff's office. Hey, Mr. Webster, Zell at Cannery. We've had a break in. Ah, uh, the young kid, the one that's been hanging around here.
Get him into the back of the jeep. Let him go, let him go. Never find him in the dark. We'll pick him up later. No place in this county he can go that I won't hear about. Yeah, well, what about Carrie's place? Well, he'll come up empty. The little lady won't be there. Pick her up. First put the body in the car. We'll take him to the old point. Meet us there. After you pick up the girl. Jeff! Wait a minute! Bad enough one man is dead. You can't hurt that girl. They'll find... They'll find nothing. There are no bodies. Two transients moved on, and a headstrong girl just couldn't take it any longer. She left town. No. I won't be part of this. Carter, you've been a part of it since the day you decided that comfortable job of yours was more important than telling the police what happened to Carrie's brother. You understand? Yes, sir. Come on, Max. Come on. Come on, Max. Four minute mile. Could stay the course, we'll beat them. They have to go down by the wharf. No pain. Outside yourself. Like he said. Go for it. We gotta get out of here, right now. Webster's on his way over here with his pals. We're going to the police. Well, where's... He's dead. Come on! I'm gonna leave my coat. There's no time for that. Get in the car. Get in the car! How deep is it? I don't know. Three, three and a half feet. Throw him in. Webster, you... Patience, patience, pal. Your moment's coming. And hers. Yeah, like I did for my brother and the other. Two more, just like this one, unmarked. There are a lot of them in this graveyard. They don't use it anymore. No caretaker, no maintenance. Just decaying memories. Now I got it, Webster. You're really bothering me. It's not just that you run the cannery the way you want. No flack, no union. No. That's not enough to kill people for. There's another reason. What would that be? You get off on this. It's a thrill, a kick. Look at the power you have. Life and death. It's a tough act to top. What I feel and what I think isn't going to matter to you much longer, Keller. Any more than it does for your late friend. Or you, Carter. Me? Didn't I tell you, Carter? After 35 years of keeping your nose clean and looking the other way, this is what you get.
Slow it, heartbeat to barely a pulse. Close your door to the senses like you did in the motel room. Further than that, on the edge of death, it can only be affected once or twice. More than that, it could prove fatal. I'm glad you're alive. I prefer it. Union guys work fast, so when does it happen? Oh, about in a week. But listen, I want to thank y'all for proving something that I believed in. I'm sorry about your brother, Carrie. Well, at least I know for sure now. I needed to. Listen, if you still need a job, I can get you one at the Union. I'll be in the van with Henry. We can wait. He's a classy guy. I don't know how he made those people think he was dead. It's a long story, going back centuries. Listen, about that job. I gotta go, Carrie. No. Someone we have to find for the master. The master? My friend. It's kind of a nickname. I'll be back this way for next year's race. You better be.